This is the uh, fan that uh, drives the air for the pneumatic conveying rig. Uh, the pneumatic conveying rig is in fact a, a two inch diameter metal pipe. Uh, that's the um, rotary valve that uh, meters the solids into the pipe. The pipe above the rotary valve is the storage and you can see there's a horizontal section around a 90 degree bend and then up a vertical section and then on the top surface there was uh, another horizontal. This is uh, looking into a rotary valve you can see that there's a little flap there that rotates round and round and as that rotates round there's a chamber that uh, or chambers that dump solids into the uh, flow of the air. So it's a, a positive displacement system, air is being blown, solids are being dumped into the, the flow through that rotary valve into that uh, two inch pipe just below it. And this is uh, a viewing section on the top horizontal uh, run and at the moment there's only air flowing through and then as we increase the solids flow rate into the system there's uh, some solids being conveyed. We're now probably hitting the point of being at the edge of dilute phase pneumatic conveying just heading into dense phase because we're going past the saltation point. You can see some solids now are separating out and travelling along the bottom surface of the tube so it's not fully dispersed that true dilute phase requires and what we'll do is we'll increase the solids flow rate into the system and the frequency of pulses of solids becomes faster and faster that's really due to the uh, rotary valve that's dumping solids in as each chamber goes by now the rotary valve is going around sufficiently fast that there's almost a continuous flow of solids into the system and you can clearly see there, there are solids uh, running along the bottom there so we are in dense phase pneumatic conveying at that stage but it's still still pretty dilute uh, now increase the solids a little bit more and you can really see slugs of solids uh, running along the bottom please note they're, they're not stationary they are still being conveyed but there's a dilute phase conveyance of solids much faster above the solids that are running along the bottom and we're going to increase the solids flow rate further and further you'll see more and more solids settling to the bottom but still being conveyed through it's not a static bed of solids they're still going through much like uh, sand dunes being blown in the wind and then eventually we'll possibly get to a point where there does become a static layer of solids we have sufficient material present for that to occur but there's still very significant conveyance of the particles you can see it's much like those sand dunes again flowing past now we're at a, a pretty significant input of solids again there's uh, solids moving along the bottom a slight region at the very bottom where it's stationary but it is very much like uh, those sand dunes flowing being entrained by the, uh, the wind as far as uh, the pneumatic conveying system is concerned you always need a, a dust separation system to separate the particles from the gas on our pneumatic conveying rig there that's a, a gas cyclone so uh, they're inertially separated in that cyclone the solids fall down into the dust box and then are recirculated round through the rotary valve at the bottom section the gas is, uh, comes out the overflow at the top through a, a bag filter and of course big problem is how do you clean up from uh, a pneumatic conveying system that's got a lot of solids in it well the advantage of a pneumatic conveying system is that uh, if you turn the solids flow rate off then your gas velocity for a, a fixed speed blower is going to get higher and higher because it's no longer having to accelerate those solids that are present 
and it cleans itself up as the gas velocity gets higher and higher it literally whisks off or entrains all the solids in the system so it's a very nice self-cleaning process all you have to do is switch the solids off